the U.S. launched missiles at three radar installations in rebel-controlled areas of Yemen late Wednesday. It's the first time that the U.S. has carried out strikes against the Houthi rebels during the conflict in Yemen. This comes after missiles were fired from Yemen's coast at U.S. Navy destroyer USS Mason on two separate occasions in four days. The ship was able to deploy defensive countermeasures, according to a statement from Pentagon Press Secretary Peter Cook, and there was no damage to the ship or its crew. The U.S. official told NPR's Tom Bowman that the destroyer USS Nitsa launched Tomahawk cruise missiles at the three locations, located north of a strategic strait called Bag al Mandeb. Initial assessments indicated that all three targets were destroyed, he tells Tom. The Pentagon says that these strikes make it much harder for these Houthi rebels to actually target any ship out in the Red Sea, as Tom reported on Morning Edition. He added that Pentagon officials said there was no sense of any civilians being killed. Meanwhile, Yemen's state news agency said which is under Houthi control denied that the U.S. warship was targeted. A military official called the allegations a pretext for the Saudi-led coalition to escalate their aggression attacks against Yemen. The Shiite Houthi rebels are backed by Iran and fighting alongside military units loyal to Yemen's former president Ali Abdullah Saleh. They took control of Yemen's capital, Sana'a, in late 2015 and seized large swaths of territory. The war escalated in March 2015 when a Saudi-led coalition began an air campaign aimed at pushing the rebels back into their northern stronghold. This coalition supports Yemen's internationally recognized exiled leader Abed Rabo Mansar Hadi.